Hi guys again, and today it's the Fab, well, not the Fabby 37, that's my other YouTube channel, which I will link right here ish, uh, here. I'll link it right there, and that's my other YouTube channel where you can get free downloads of cool stuff like uh, Sony Vegas and stuff like that, just video editing stuff. Uh, but today we're just going to do a little product overview of a power bank. So let's get started. So you're probably wondering, what am I on about when I say a power bank? Well, a power bank is a bit like a portable battery that you carry around with you um, and it charges your devices via USB or any other sort of thing. So it's basically a large battery inside an enclosure which has USBs which charge your devices. Um, <laughs> your phone it carry has the exact same sort of battery in it. but um, since your phone has been designed to say, be slim or the battery is designed to be removable or elongated towards uh, the phone and designed around the phone, uh, they can't fit large, really, really large batteries in it because, um, for example, this is a fairly large battery. Uh, and it's physically large, I can do a comparison with my phone, but the only reason your phone is massively thick is because of the battery. And um, sure enough, your batteries are pretty small for what they are. They can, some devices such as Nexus, um, not Nexus, Samsung Galaxy Note 3s have massive batteries because the phone itself is massive, so they can fit a massive phone battery in it. But something like my Nexus 4, yeah, LG Nexus 4, I know it's not the newest one, I got this a year ago, but this is around about the same size, but the thickness is completely different, if you can see there. That's, this is a power bank, and we're just going to go over this one in a few seconds, but I'm just going to describe to you. Um, just one quick word, uh, this, ba this battery, the camera that you're viewing this on, or I'm recording this on, sorry, not viewing, then you'd be looking for the camera. That'd be pretty weird, but um, it's been recharged because I forgot to charge it using this power bank which I fully well fully ish charged because it take there's only one drawback with this and it takes forever to charge back up. But um my phone has a twenty one hundred milliamp battery. So that just means that's the capacity of how much charge it can hold. Whereas this one's fifteen thousand milliamps and this could probably charge my phone like four or five times before completely dying, the math doesn't make up. Like it doesn't make a lot of sense uh, for what capacity you're getting. For example, sometimes if you get a four thousand milliamp battery, like a power bank, sorry, and you've got a one two thousand one hundred milliamp phone, it doesn't necessarily mean you can charge your phone one and three three quarters. It means you could probably charge your phone once. Um, it really depends on how efficient this, uh, your power bank is. But enough of power banks in general. Let's start talking about this one. Um, I got this off of Amazon uh, for, I think, £30, I, I believe. Uh, yep, yeah, around about £30. And it comes in a load of different sizes. Um, I'm just having a quick check up now. Um, right now, the one that I got because my brother wanted one because he was saying to me, Fab, I want to charge my phone because my battery's dying on it. So I was like, fair enough. But I also want to charge my bin box. So I was like, oh, you're wanting a massive one then. Uh, mainly because um, his uh, Logitech Ultimate Ears Bluetooth bin box thingamajigger um, has a massive battery and he wants to charge both of them at the same time and be able to play both of them. Luckily for this one, it has two USB ports. Um, one's 2.1 amps and one's 1 amp. And basically, the higher the current, which is the amps, more amps means the faster it'll charge. So, your 2.1 amps, uh, which is this camera's getting recharged on right now, is for things like your tablets and things with a massive battery that you want that will take ages to charge. Whereas your 1 amp is fine for things like your smartphone, like so your Nexus. It's, because uh, your phones come supplied with a 1 amp wall charger, whereas your tablets get supplied with a 2.1 amp phone charger. Um, so this one, I was fairly surprised that actually indicated which one's which. So that's good. Um, 
and also the build quality of this, I was <laughs> I was really surprised. I mean, thirty quid's still quite a lot for a 15,000 milliamp battery. That's Chinese, and nobody's ever heard of Technet. I mean, like really, Technet. I don't. No, we just no. But um, all the other cheaper equivalent ones were uh, from China and stuff like that were like fifteen quid, where th this one was thirty. So I was hoping for uh, well, I wasn't hoping, but I was guessing that was going to be like a cheap make. But I was pleasantly surprised when I saw this. It's got no like bad seams to it. All seems seamless. It's got a heft bit of weight. It's got like a lot of weight to it, which can be a bad and a good thing. Um, I personally think it's a good thing because it means it's I, I like the feeling of things that are heavy but like the Nokia phones uh, the Windows phones, Nokia Windows phones, they're nice and heavy and it they, they feels like a phone that doesn't feel flimsy and light like my Nexus because you can just drop that and oops it goes somewhere else but it feels robust if you know what I mean so um, that was good about it um, but if you heard me from the start this takes a while to charge, 15,000 milliamp hours takes a long time to charge but this model specifically um, this kind of charger it takes ages to charge um, it'll take you around about a day to charge but this will give you around about um, a few days to worth a charge um, I've tried it uh, for a, a day or two oh sorry one second uh, like I was saying that was just some random guy asking for my parents <laughs> but anyways um, what was I talking about Right, Demar. Anyways, uh, yeah, I was talking about how long it ch it took to charge. It takes quite a while, but this one takes especially quite a while. And you can charge. You get, but this will last you a few days worth. I managed to charge my phone for um, three, four days without needing to recharge this. Even though this takes a day to charge, so it's great for taking outdoors with you if you're doing other things like I don't know um, outdoorsy stuff, stuff that doesn't require indoors, which I hate. <laughs> I prefer to stay inside and play on the computers, I'm saying. But, um, yeah, I find that it's a really handy kind of gadget to get, and I would highly recommend getting something equivalent to this, if not this one itself, because I find this is pretty cheap for 15,000 milliamp hours. And even though you might not use it now, um, you might want to use it later, because it's something that you might want to use or have around the place. So I think it's pretty cool. Um, it's also got an on-off switch. You just hold it and it turns off. Um, I'm just gonna hold it off for you, even though the battery on my camera is gonna die soon. I'm just gonna hold it off for you. And it turns off. My battery, my camera just popped up. Turn it back on, and the lights show up. Uh, four lights mean it's 80 and a, 80 percent and above. Uh, three lights means 60 percent to 80 percent. Two lights means 40 to 60, and one light means uh, below 20, I think. That's if it's flashing. Uh, one light shining onto two lights is to 20 to 40. So it gives you some indication, which is always nice, uh, about what your battery charge is. Um, very... I don't know, that's pretty much all I have to discuss about power banks. Just I would highly recommend one if you had one at home. Uh, for example, in like this kind of case, um, because all my power adapters and all my USB cables, my micro USB cables, oh, and I also forgot to mention, it uses micro USB to charge. So if you've got any, say, newer Android smartphones or Nokia f smartphones, uh, or, I don't know, uh, anyone that's not Apple, <laughs> pretty much will be able to charge directly off your phone's charger which is always nice or directly from your computer to USB um, oh and one last thing I'm just gonna pause the camera real quick to get the accessories because this actually comes with a couple of accessories so I am back and I'm slowly resting the power bank on my tripod which is holding up pretty nicely so these are the accessories it comes with and these are just attach attachments for your USB cable, which is, comes included. It's this cable here, that you see running off here. It's just a standard, pardon me, um, USB to micro USB connector. And I'll quickly grab one. Uh, here we go. I'll quickly grab one and attach it to micro USB, just micro USB to micro USB 
Um, it's nothing hard really, I don't think. There we go. Now that's micro USB Type B, I think. Is it? Or something. Like no, it's 1.0. It's the older fashion than micro USB. Um, and then you've got your older, older, older phones that use these weird yellow AC connectors that nobody ever uses and it costs like a tenner to replace these cables. Um, touches on just like that. And then you've got your Apple one. Oh, <laughs> Apple. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, this one connects in the same way. Uh, but oh, I've had heard complaints on the Amazon's website. Oh, sorry, I'm out of the camera. My head's been cut off. That's never good. Um, that this doesn't necessarily work in all Apple devices, only some, because of the connect, because of the chip it uses. But it should be it should work on most of your devices. Um, I've not tried it my brother's I iPhone yet because he's been using the original connector. Um, but if you just use your original Apple connector and connect it to the USB port, then that should work fine. Anything with the USB port and requires charging through the USB port will work on this. That's the beauty of power banks. So they'll work on anything that accepts a charge for USB. So that pretty much wraps up the video really, um, you get different sizes, all ranging from different prices, different manufacturers, different functions, uh, features as well, like the extra USB port which is always handy if you want to charge two devices at once, uh, micro USB port charging for like compatibility where you can only, you can re like replace this cable for like a pound somewhere, and like even Poundland or something. Even though it's got a bad, lot of bad rep, um, Technic, whatever the hell it is, this seems to be doing me fine. It's all I really need. It's all my brother really needs because it's his, to be honest, and that's him playing FIFA up there. Because um, I can just hear him shouting. But that's pretty much all you need to know. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will leave a couple of li video links here and here. Hopefully not blocking my face. <laughs> That's probably good to know. Get in front of my face there. And please like the following YouTube channels. Adam's Vlogs, which I'll post down like somewhere on the screen. Uh, Toss and Tomatoes. And there's quite a few, so I'm just going to list them on the screen. Uh, they're the ones I know off the top of my head. But I'll see you guys later. I will be uploading more more frequently during this near enough to summertime just because of homework and whatnot and me not really being bothered to record and edit and do homework and all in one night. So and then do that little bit exercise but yeah. So I'll see you guys next time and I'll see you there.